Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and happy new year. So we're back at the convent. We are continuing with the library project and today we are removing all of these beautiful oak timber walls. So we're gonna reuse this oak in the future for a different project. We're not quite sure about it yet, but I do have a few plans, but we'll get to that another day. Um, I also have the design for the library on the computer. So we'll go over that a little bit later and I'll explain to you about that design in particular. Things will change slightly, but it's a nice solid base and it's basically how we want the library to look. Also, somebody that you all know and love has returned to the convent to continue with the renovation. So let's crack on.
Look who's back, everyone. Simon is finally back from the UK and he's come to help us at the convent again. I have. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to be back. I must first say, Billy, what a wonderful place this has turned out. It's amazing, isn't it? Uh, I mean, as you remember, the last time I see it, it was just plastered. Yeah. Uh, you've done a fabulous job on the floor as well. Superb. It took a while. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> but um, yeah, really happy to have you back. I think we've all missed you and I'm sure everyone who watches the videos have probably missed you as well. Yeah. So we are cracking on with the library project. Yeah. But later in the month, we'll also be starting or finishing off the hallway. Okay. I've had all the electrics done. Good, yeah, um, good. So it's insulation, plasterboard, ceiling, stuff like that. But mainly, we've got to do the library project. Sure, yeah, but which also, is a lot of demolition yeah. work. Yeah. But also you'll be working at your place as well, won't you? Yeah, on the weekends I'll be back there. Obviously now I'll be doing the inside because the web has changed, so there's no more roof work until the summer. So I'll be inside doing the stud work, putting the bathrooms in and the ensuite, uh, and plasterboard and insulating it. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing at the weekends. I'm sure Billy will come along and show you some progress we that will, we're doing we there. Um, but obviously, the, so during the week though, we'll be here uh, and we'll be cracking on with this lovely place. Let's crack on then, mate. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do come it. on, mate. Okay. Okay. So we're up in the top part of where the library is going to be. Uh, what we're doing at the moment. Uh, before I arrived, uh, if you remember on the previous videos, Billy and his dad and Yanis took all the rubble that they used to build the walls, if you like, between the joists out. Um, so now what we're doing is we're deconstructing the actual timbers. And when these were done, I mean, these were done 200 years ago, if not longer, um, how, they, how they're constructed is they've got a mortise and tenon which is a square hole, like if, if Alex shows you here. So this bit's got a tenon that fits into there, or a mortise, it's a mortise and a tenon, and it, and it fits in, and what they do is they drill through it, and then they wedge a peg in there, which stops it from pulling apart. So what we're, what we're doing at the moment, or attempting to do, because these are in there very well, is knock these pegs out, and that will allow it to come apart. There's no screws or nails uh, used in it, so it's all, you know, it's all carpentry work, really. Uh, and the pegs that they use are tapered. So as they drive them in, they tighten down, and they, they, when, when, when they make these, when they pop, pop this part into that part, they offset the hole just slightly. So as you look through the hole, one hole's just off slightly, so that when you drive the peg in, it pulls the holes together, which pulls the joints together and really tightens them up. So wherever we're seeing these pegs, we're taking them out, removing them, so that then we can, like I said, we're, so we can take them apart. Uh, and obviously these sit in mortise and tenon joints as well. So this would have a piece extended on that and a hole cut in here. You'll probably see in part of the videos as we take them apart, which will explain it more to you. They'll all lift out. Um, so that's the next stage of this. Once we've got all the timber out of the way, then we can clear all the rubble a lot more easier. We probably would have started the rubble today, but it's really windy out at the moment. Dreadful weather at the moment. If we open the windows, the wind's just blowing. You know, this dust, I mean, this this earth bone dry it's been here for 200 years and as soon as the wind hits it it just makes a dust cloud so obviously we can't do that today so that's our job for today so we'll crack on and we'll uh, start removing all these timbers
So we're making really good progress, everyone. The room is really, well, it's a transformation today. We've really opened it up, taking them internal walls out. And now you can see three windows on this point. It looks amazing. We'll show you in a minute. Alex will turn around. And yeah, we've got this last section to take out. And um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put an acro prop up to support this beam, because obviously there's a crack in it, but we have to take this wall out. So we're gonna do that in a moment, but, I want to talk about the design of this library. I have a rough design. It's more of a perspective design and it's exact dimensions of the room. Um, window placements are exactly the same, but some are slightly smaller than they should be and things like that. So I'll show you now in the office and Dad, Simon and Yanis are gonna, well, you're gonna take out this wall, aren't you? We are, yeah. The wall's coming out and uh, yeah, good luck. Hopefully it doesn't fall down. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> So here is the design. So this design was made in Unreal Engine 5. And yeah, essentially I gave the graphic designer measurements of the room, placements of the windows, the height that we measured of the rooms and placement of doors. I did say, don't add the bookcases because I'm not sure where they're going yet, but he did anyway. So it looks fantastic. And I'm actually glad he did because even though they won't look just like that, they'll look slightly different and the placement of them will be a different place. It gives you a nice perspective of what it will look like. And also the balustrade, I didn't have any design in mind, but the graphic designer went with that. And um, he does architectural design, room design, um, house planning, all things like that. So it's quite good. It's a little bit laggy on this screen, everyone. Don't worry, it's just the, I think we're in offline mode and it's not liking it very much. And obviously the windows will look different because they're arched. This window is actually much bigger than these, these on the side. Um, 
So yeah, it's literally a design for perspective more than anything. It's designed to show you guys sort of what I've got in my head. So this is the doorway, which leads to the lift shaft and staircase. This doorway leads to where the hallway is going to be. Hallway is currently in the center of the building, but it's going to be moved to the back of the building. Um, yeah, obviously the beams are, it's very similar to the design of the ceiling, but obviously they're much thicker than that. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. So this room is 55 square meters and it's exactly the same size as the one, well, of this design. And I think the dimensions and the scale of the room look quite good. If the gallery was too small, it wouldn't look right. But I think the gallery is just right. And it leaves about one meter 50 of thickness or depth on the gallery all the way around to actually be able to walk around comfortably. Um, possibly as well, wheelchair access, which is quite important, all the way around. We can make it bigger and we can make it smaller. We're just not quite sure yet. Um, yeah. Looks a little bit like a, I don't know, like an office at the moment, with all these uh, bits of furniture that the graphic designer added, but it does give a nice idea of sort of where things are going to go. So obviously downstairs, there's one single window and then upstairs, there's currently, there's three windows and um, yeah. So in total, there'll be eight windows, I think in the library, downstairs and upstairs. Yeah, I mean, this isn't a final design. Like I said, it's just a design for your perspective, for, well, for my perspective, just to sort of give you guys an idea of um, how things are going to look. And obviously there will be a very large chandelier and things hanging down through. Oh, gone into the wall a little bit. And yeah, it's quite a nice design. And then obviously this doorway here will lead into the dining room, which will then lead into downstairs toilet, the reception area, which is actually a desk, not actually um, a seating area, and then hallway and then kitchen. So I think that works really well as a design. I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's it. Don't know what else to say. You can see it, um, looks pretty good. Let's go and smash down some more walls. All the interior walls are down, apart from the last room, which we're gonna to start tomorrow. It looks fantastic. We've got three big windows there and two here. So five windows on the top part of the gallery. And then downstairs, there's three windows. It's looking just amazing. I can't believe how big the room is now feeling. Um, obviously the iffy beam, we have acro propped it up. We've left this piece of oak in here just to support it for now. But what we need to do, once this is completely demolished, cleared, we need to then go upstairs and do exactly the same thing to release all the weight off that beam so we can move it, replace it with a brand new oak beam or chestnut, whatever's, whatever they have in stock locally. Um, so it's just, yeah, it's just in really bad condition. It's got too many splits. Possibly a structural engineer would suggest to maybe put massive big steel plates on it and bolt it through or pin it from above into the beam above this floor. But I don't want to do that. Let's do it properly. Let's just not cut corners. We'll replace it. 
easier that way. And at least for the longevity of this building, it will be safe for the future. So next stage is, it's been really windy and rainy today at the convent, incredibly windy. And if we had the windows open, it would just blow dust everywhere. And we need to get all of this rubble outside. So downstairs, I have two rubble chutes. So when the wind dies down, hopefully this week, we're gonna set up the rubble chutes, get rid of all of this rubble out the window. And yeah, there's not much more to do in here, surprisingly. It's just stripping out more things. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing the design, everyone. Obviously, we're really happy to have Simon back. We've missed him. It's been a few, three months, I think it's been three months since we've seen him last. So yeah, great. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Happy New Year, we're back at it. Thanks for watching.